Greetings! We are on our way to an actual paying job, a drone job for a property holder and they've hired me to take some photographs and video of their property. And Nick's gonna help me. Click the thing three times, show them who you are there. That's Nick. Hey. He's gonna be the spotter today because it's gotta be all legal-like. <laughs> It's perfect weather for this, good lighting, and I chose to go a little bit afternoon because the shadows will help with building definition. If you go at noon when the sh shadows are straight up and down, it's hard to tell the size of the building. All right, we're here at the location, and I wanna park the vehicle out of the way so that when we're filming it, we're not actually in the shot. Because you can see what we're driving today. Show them what we're driving. <laughs> we don't want a cow in the shot. I'm sure the client doesn't want to pay for a weird cow in his video. So here we are. I'm not filming in RAW because I'm lazy. So I'm just using the automatic settings and I'm using an uh, ND8 Polar Pro filter because it is quite bright outside. Okay, we've done a walk around of the property. I didn't share that on the video because that would be extraordinarily boring, but it's good preparation to do so that you can see where the wires are. You can see right here we've got a few wires to deal with and I don't know if you can hear them but we got a pack of killer dogs over here. Hopefully their chains will hold. All right let's get this bird in the air. So what I want to do first is kind of establish the building and the grounds and the parking lot here. So I'll start with the photographs first. Now if you're shooting 4K you can pull stills from your footage but I like to take photographs anyway. Lining up the corners of the property offers the best perspective. I've covered all the stills. Now I'm going to come in and do an orbit of the entire property. Okay, I think we're good. There was a few close calls with some wires. <laughs> Thanks, spotter. Anyway, so uh, that's the thrilling and exciting world of property droning. Now I need to switch batteries again. I've used three batteries on this shoot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for not falling asleep. Buh and bye. Hey, before you all click away, I just want to take a moment and sincerely thank everyone for participating in my channel the way you've been doing. 
I had no idea when I started this how rewarding it would be to be part of this community. And once in a while, people send me stuff. Like this guy, Mr. Franco from Brooklyn, New York. Let's see what I got from Brooklyn. Mmm, it's got that homeless guy smell. <laughs> Mr. Franco writes, Dear Ken, here is a little gift and a token of thanks from a fan in New York City. For over a year now, you have made me laugh and taught me a little bit about the South and drone flying. In fact, because of you, I picked up the hobby again. All right. Though I'm not as good as you, I'm striving to get to that point. As far as video editing goes, I'll never get there. Lol. Keep the videos coming and thanks again for being you. Man, that touches me right here. Thanks, pal. Now let's see what goodies I got. It's in a I Love New York bag to begin with. This is... Oh! It's the Freedom Tower! Look at that! That's awesome! You can see where the Twin Towers were and where the Freedom Tower now stands. That's awesome! Thank you so much! I also got a couple of magnets. One Lady Liberty magnet and a New York subway magnet. That is awesome! Oh, and he sent me a t-shirt. Mr. Franco happens to be a cop, so I got NYPD blue right here. I wonder if I wore this at the donut shop if I get a discount. Oh, and there's one extra little thing. A pencil with a cop car on it. Well, I just have nothing else to say except thank you to everyone. A most sincere appreciation to everyone watching right now. Buh and bye.